Andrew back for another live stream on Renee of Paris. This is one of the highlights of my week is coming live on here and talking to all you guys about alopecia and wig related topics. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Abby and I am the alopecia ambassador for Renee of Paris, which means I come on here and I talk about the wigs, all of the Renee of Paris wigs, the awesome new releases, but specifically from the perspective of someone who does deal with hair loss, I am completely bald. So um, yeah, and you'll see that in a minute. I'm gonna be changing wigs a ton in this video. And I have some new releases to show you all from the Orchid collection. And that is what this live is going to be all about today. So I'm super, super excited to be here showing you these new wigs. So the three new wigs, I'm gonna show you a couple of really fun ways to style them. I have some hair ties and hair clips here. Just some really cute, casual ways to style them if you choose to get these wigs yourself. And these styles are really, really exciting. I really like the Orchid collection because it has such a wide variety of different styles, different lengths, hair textures, curly, short. So there's a really big variety in the Orchid collection. And if you're not familiar with the Orchid collection, you can also go on our website, reneeofparis.com and look at all the catalogs for all the different collections. Just go to um, the brands, go to Orchid, and you can view the catalog on there. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into showing you the new wigs. And this one that I'm wearing right now is not one of the new releases, but it is one from the Orchid collection. One of my favorite wigs in my collection, especially just because of this color. This is Posh. I think this was a release last year from the Orchid collection. Posh in Aqua Paradise. It is a heat friendly wig. And um, it does also come in natural colors as well. So it's a really fantastic, really cute, manageable style. I really like the lace front and lace part. It's very natural looking. Um, the, this color, I am obsessed with this color, but I know bright colors like this aren't for everyone. So if you do like this style, it does come in natural colors as well. And to get the full list of the colors that it's available in, again, just go to reneeofparis.com. Okay, so again, this is Posh in Aqua Paradise. And this live stream is going to be all about the Orchid Collection, which is why I want to start with one of my favorite Orchid wigs of all time. The Orchid Collection is great because it has a lot of heat-friendly styles. Not all of them are, so just be really careful making sure that whichever wig you get, um, just figuring out whether it is or not. But the Orchid Collection does have a lot of heat-friendly styles. Uh, this is one of them, posh. And one of the three new wigs that I'm going to show you today is also heat-friendly. Not all three of them, just one of them. Um, and that's not always a necessary thing because a lot of times, even when I have a heat friendly wig, I never take heat to it because it just comes styled so nicely anyway that it's not necessary, but some people do like having that flexibility. So again, this one is posh. So I know you guys are just waiting for me to bring out the first limited edition, not, sorry, not limited edition, the first new release uh, from the Orchid collection. You're probably like, get on with it already. So I'm going to start with this one right here. This one is called Brit and Cafe Macchiato. Here it is. Really cute, short, wavy, curly style. I do have the stats pulled up on my computer, so let me just make sure I'm giving you all the right information. Um, this is a machine-made cap. The fringe is 4.5 inches. From the crown, it's 6.5 inches. And at the nape, it's a little bit shorter at 1.5 inches. Again, when Danny goes live on Monday showing these wigs, she's gonna go into a lot more details about the different stats of the wigs, but for now, I'm just going to show you what it looks like, the new color. Well, this is, this is I don't believe this is a new color, um, but it's a really nice color. This is Cafe Macchiato, and again, this is the style Brit. So let's put this on. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, this is really adorable. Um, let me bring out my comb. Where? I, put my comb. I always have so many different um, tools around me that it ends up kind of getting buried under the wigs as I'm working with it. Super cute short style. Look how adorable this is. I really like this color too, the Cafe Macchiato. I don't believe I've tried it before. Such a cute, simple short style. So again, it's a machine type cap. It has a really nice volume to it. It's really nice little curls and waves. So adorable. It's like seeing how it looks, putting it behind my ear. And again, if the wig cap fits you properly, you should be able to comfortably put it behind your ear. What do you guys think of this style? This one is so cute. Again, I'm showing the new releases from the Orc collection, and this is the style Brit. Really cute, short, wavy style. Very lightweight too. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything on my head. It is a machine tied cap. Um, let me show you that from the inside as well. There's the top. 
And then here is the inside of the cap construction. It's a very comfortable wig cap as well, especially if you are wearing it on a bald head. It has this really nice felt strip in the front, so it's just very smooth on your head. And of course, as always, um, Rene of Paris wigs also have the adjustable straps on the back. So you can see right here to make sure it fits you properly. This one there, and there's one here. So you can always just adjust it to your head size. So let's put this back on and just play with some hair clips. Whenever I wear short styles like this, I just have so much fun putting in little bobby pins and stuff just to have the hair sit in a different way. It's sometimes really cute and fun to do that. It just looks really nice naturally down like this and the waves just look so natural. But let's get out some hair clips. I'm telling you, if you guys saw my setup all around me, it's so funny because I always like to have lots of hair clips on hand. I have all the different wigs to show. I have makeup stuff in case I ever wanna do some makeup on the live, um, but it just ends up, <laughs> I have lots of different stuff around me, but it's always useful. So I'm gonna use just some of these regular bobby pins. Again, you can use any hair clips for your wigs. You don't have to use anything special. So anywhere that you can normally buy hair clips, um, they work for your wigs as well. So let's just put in some cute little bobby pins. Short wavy styles like this, I love to kind of pin back the sides because I think it kind of exposes some of the waves underneath and I just think that looks really cute. This is a color that I don't often wear and I really, really like it. I've never tried this exact color. It's Cafe Macchiato. I feel like normally when I um, am wearing wigs, I like to wear either super light blondes or super dark brunettes. And I feel like I haven't experimented enough with these kind of medium brunettes. This one is just so, so pretty and so natural. Kind of pin it back like that. So of course, um, when you have your wigs, you wanna use brushes and combs that are designed for wigs to help keep them in good shape for as long as possible. And with curly wigs, I really recommend, or wavy wigs like this, I recommend having this wide tooth comb from Renee of Paris. Um, wide tooth combs are really, really ni nice for detangling curly and wavy wigs without messing up the curls. It just gives it a nice little detangle. I really like these side bangs on this wig. You can kind of push them down if you want to wear them down in the front, looks really cute, or you can kind of brush them to the side. And I, I think I have a tendency usually to push my bangs to the side, like little cute little side bangs. Oh, this is such a cute little style. <laughs> I wish I could easily change outfits on the live stream because I just think this would look so cute with like a jean jacket. Oh, if I had one nearby, I would totally just throw in a little jean jacket with this. It would look super, super cute. Um, but in the meantime, I'm also gonna try pinning up the other side just to show you what it looks like pinned up like this. I always just think that is a very cute style to wear with these short wavy styles like this one. Ah, so adorable. Oh my gosh. So again, this is the new style from the Orchid collection. One of three new wigs coming out from Orchid. This is Brit in the color Cafe Macchiato. So cute. I'm kind of leaving like my favorites, like my favorite for last or it's not that it's necessarily my favorite, but the last one that I'm gonna show is a little bit longer so I can do a little bit more with it on this live stream with hair clips and stuff. Whereas these shorter styles, you can't really like put them in a ponytail much, but you can have a lot of fun with little hair clips, which is fun. Just to see, I'm gonna see how much of the hair I can fit into a ponytail just to give you guys a good idea of the length. I don't think you really can reach much. Although something like this, if I just like took a little section of the hair I always like just adding random, random little ponytails in the hair, even if it's too short to fit fully into a ponytail. It's just fun to play around with it. This might look a little bit nutty. Let's see. It looks very cartoon character. I don't know if I would necessarily wear that out, but I just like having fun with little hair ties and stuff like that. It's really fun. Whenever I get a new wig for the first time, I just have to try all the different styles, see how they look, and then see how I like to wear it myself. Just to see, I think I can actually get it in a really cute little half ponytail on the back, which might look nice. 
But the beauty of these short styles like this is like, you don't really have to do anything to it. It just looks so cute and natural down completely. So it just makes it a very effortless style. You could just throw it on and go out and it's always gonna look really cute, really natural. And these, because it is a synthetic wig, these waves and these curls will stay looking nice rather than um, with human hair wigs, sometimes you have to kind of maintain the curls and like uh, style them a bit. So it all just depends on your preference. That's the reason I love wearing synthetic wigs is because they do hold the style that they come with. So it's just very, very effortless. So again, one of the new Orchid releases, this one is called Brit and Cafe Macchia. Okay, moving on to the next one, which I really, really love the color of this next one. It's another color that I haven't tried before, um, but it kind of reminds me of some of the other colors in the Renee of Paris lines. This is Hallie in Shadowed Custard. This one is so fun. It's a, t it's a little bit of an A-line bob, but not very dramatic. Um, I'll go over all the different lengths and stats in a moment. And this one is, um, let's see, machine-tied cap with a lace front. So I'll show you that from the inside before I put it on. So the lace front's really nice for having that natural-looking hairline, which I'll show you in a moment. It just has this lace inside so that the front looks like it's coming right out of your own scalp, so you can kind of push the hair back. And showing the cap construction from the nape of the neck, uh, as always, these wig caps are adjustable, so when you're wearing it, and if it feels like it's too big or too small, you can always adjust the straps back here to make it fit properly. You don't want to be super tight squeezing your head, but um, when it's adjusted properly, I can do things like cartwheels, and I feel like um, the wig is secure and it's not going to fall off on me, so... Always check the adjustments to make sure they fit. Oh my goodness, see, oh, this is so cute. These little curls and the waves, it's almost like a wavy, slight A-line bob. I don't necessarily wanna fully call it an A-line bob because it's not super short in the back. Let me give you a full 360. Let me comb it out first and then I'll give you a 360. Again, this wide tooth comb is really nice for maintaining these curls, but just very gently detangling them. Whereas if I went and took a brush to that, um, it might kind of brush out the curl too much, um, which might be a look you might want to go for depending on your preference, but the wide tooth comb is really nice for just detangling but maintaining the curl. Okay, that is so cute, especially with styles like this, which have the curl in the front here, this really flattering curl right in the front of the face. I also like to push back the hair on the other side, so it's just kind of the focus is here. I love this wig. Okay, let me show you from the side. Other side. And the back, if you guys can see that well. Okay, so just to give you all the different lengths, uh, we have nine inch fringe, uh, 6.5 inches from the crown, and then two inches from the nape of the neck. But again, it's not dramatically shorter in the back, but it is a little bit shorter. Super, super cute style. Oh my goodness, I just really love these little curls and waves, and I just am really in love with this color as well. This is Shadowed Custard. It kind of reminds me of, like, if Creamy Blonde had a root, almost like um, Champagne R is a really bright, bright blonde, but it just has a little bit more of different tones in the base hair color. I think it's a little bit more golden. But it's a very light blonde, kind of in that creamy blonde slash champagne R family, if you are familiar with the different wig colors that Renee of Paris has. So again, another new release from the Orchid Collection coming out very soon. Stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so here's the lace front. It was going to make sure none of the hairs are tucked under the lace front. when you're wearing it properly, it just has that really natural looking hairline in the front. So you can push the hair back and it looks like it's growing right out of your own scalp. Very, very natural looking. I am so in love with these cute little like face framing curls. It just is such a flattering style. And again, I really like the look of having the curls hanging down on one side and then pinning back the other side. So let's put some bobby pins in this and just kind of see what that looks like. You can achieve that look just by putting it behind the ear. Again, if a wig fits you properly and the cap fits you properly, your ears, you should be able to put the wig behind your ears. The wig cap shouldn't go over your ears. So 
so let's just kind of pin this back. I also really like the way the roots in this color make it look so natural as well. And the fact that it's lace front allows you to kind of push the hair back like this and still have it looking really natural coming out of the scalp, like so. And add another clip, just pulling it towards the back of the head as well. And then you can kind of have some of the curls still hanging forward, going towards like a face framing look, but then it can kind of have more of the volume on one side and kind of clip back the other side. I really like that look with these short wavy styles. I always think that looks really cute. And just to see what it looks like, I'm also going to pin back this side because it is nice to kind of almost make a little waterfall with the curls. It just kind of like creates this really nice effect, pinning up half of it. Hello, Danny! Texas Wig Fairy is here. It's also just so fun that we can both come on here and talk about the same wigs because we can just show different perspectives of the wigs. Um, just coming from different angles and showing what they look on different faces. It's nice to be able to see. Um, and I, I always just think it's so much easier to get a feel for a new wig from watching a video rather than just a photo. The photos are always helpful and great, but you can really see the movement and the different ways to style it from watching a video. So, of course, you definitely want to be following our Instagram, Renee of Paris, and our YouTube channel, Renee of Paris, to always see the latest updates of our new wigs, um, about the latest updates about the new releases and just fun wig tips and tutorials on recommendations on how to style them. It's just really nice how myself, uh, Danny, and Alexander all come on here on Renee of Paris to show different perspectives of how to work with wigs, just coming at it from a different angle. So there really is a kind of tutorial or um, different videos for, for everyone watching. From great hairstyling videos to alopecia tips and advice and makeup videos and Sometimes I even do cosplay content because I am a cosplayer. Um, so yeah, we try to go over every different type of angle involving wigs. This one is really, really cute. I am such a fan of this color too. I think this style combined with this color is just so gorgeous. So again, this is one of the new releases from the Orchid Collection. This is Hallie in Shadowed Custard. Love this style. This might be one of my new favorites right now. I just think that's so flattering, especially with the intense blush look. I've been super into heavy blush, and I just think it looks really cute with this style. I'm even gonna add a little bit of highlighter because I forgot to put that on earlier, and I think that would look really cute with this wig. Highlighter is so subtle. For the longest time, I didn't really see the point of it, but it's really just about when the light hits that highlighter, it just creates this really nice little, very subtle shimmer. which I think looks really cute with this, uh, these curls and this, um, this color as well. Okay, so are you guys ready for the third and final new wig from the Orchid release? Are you guys ready? Give me some hearts if you're ready to see the third and final wig. It's really hard for me to choose my favorite. I always say my favorite wig is whichever one I'm wearing in the moment. Um, because right now I'm really, really loving this style, but the next one I'm about to show you is definitely a contender for my favorite of these new releases, and this new color is awesome as well. So are you guys ready for this? Okay. Here is the other third new wig. And again, there is a, to a topper that I'm not gonna show today, but there is a new topper as well. Love this new wig. This is Sassy in Cream Velvet, and this one is the heat-friendly style of the three. The other two are not heat-friendly that I showed, Brit and Hallie, uh, but this one, Sassy, is heat-friendly. Um, so you can use your heating tools, but always be careful, uh, read the label, make sure you check to see the limits because you do want to be careful. It has a lower heat limit than it would for like actual human hair. So always read the label and always test on a small piece on the back to make sure you're not messing up your wig. But this one is so cute. Oh my gosh. My, a lot of my favorite wigs are about this length because they're not, they're like kind of just the happy medium in between short and long. They're long enough that you can do a bunch of styling with them, like putting them in pigtails and ponytails and fun stuff like that, but they're also short. I like short wigs in terms of just being able to get up and go. You don't really have to do much to them in terms of styling. 
So it's just a really nice, happy, medium length. This is, again, the style. Sassy in a new color cream velvet. Now this color, I don't know if you can see, but it's really gorgeous and dynamic. It has a nice dark root and blonde with these kind of like undertones throughout. Really, really pretty. Um, and let me get you the stats. Let me pull it up on my screen. Um, let's see. Machine made cap, seven inch fringe. Really nice fringe that you can kind of like leave forward a little bit or you can brush it back at your face. And then we have a nine inch, nine inches from the crown and eight inches from the nape. So let me show you all the way around and then I'm gonna show you some fun ways to just throw it up in a ponytail or pigtails or something like that. Just try some, have fun with it and try some of these nice basic styles. Push from the side. The way this kind of comes forward in the front is very flattering, I think. This would look flattering in lots of different face shapes. And then from the back, I'll try to turn around. So very, very gorgeous, adorable style. I really like the volume of it. It just has like a nice kind of density without being over the top. So just to show you how it looks in a ponytail, because it is kind of one of the most common styles that you might want to try, it does go really nicely into a ponytail. A lot of times I do like leaving some of the front layers forward, because I do like to have a little bit of face framing bangs going on, but they do reach the back if you do want to tie them into the ponytail. But I'm going to pull some of them forward, because I just think that looks cute. Nice basic ponytail. Again, I like to just kind of show the basic styles that um, you might try for yourself. Just really basic stuff if you want to just pull it back out of your face while you're working on something or you just like the style, just want to have the hair off the back of your neck. Ponytails always look great. So here's how this wig looks in a ponytail. It is really just such a nice effortless short wig. So, so cute. Now let's try one of my favorite go-to styles, which is a little half ponytail, where I just kind of take the top layer of hair and tie it on the back of the head. Wow, I think that looks really cute with this wig because it kind of exposes the layers of the bangs a little bit more. And kind of tuck one side behind the ear. I always find being able to tuck my hair behind my ear with wigs always just makes them look so natural. <laughs> so that's kind of why I do that with a lot of my wigs. So that is really, really cute with this length and style. It's a nice little side ponytail. And I think it's really flattering the way these bangs kind of hang in the face and just kind of swoop off to the side. I think that is really, really cute. And because it is a heat friendly wig, you can also style these differently if you do want to. Let's see, what other styles can we try? <laughs> Again, I always like just putting in random little pigtails here and there, like a little side pony. Let me know if you guys have any questions about these wigs, I'd be happy to answer them. And as always, they do come in a variety of different colors. So it's not like these wigs are only available in the colors that I showed. They're available in a few different colors. And the Orchid Collection has a really nice variety of colors and styles. So I definitely recommend going and checking out the Orchid Collection if you're not familiar with it already, because it really is just a really great ready to wear line with some gorgeous, gorgeous synthetic wigs of different hair textures, styles, lengths. Yeah, I really, really love this one. Wow, I didn't expect to like this style as much as I do, but this is so cute. I always love hairstyles that almost look like an anime character or pop star because life is short. You should have fun styling your hair however you want. It is just so cute. Um, can you please do a recap on them, please? I absolutely will do a recap before I finish the live stream. 
Um, so these wigs are coming out very soon. I believe the release date is next week, um, but very, very soon. And again, Danny will be going live on Monday to give another recap of these new wigs. So these are coming out very soon. And there's some gorgeous, gorgeous styles. So again, this one is a new style and new color. This is Sassy in Cream Velvet. Which one is this again? My have to be, might have to be my next one. I know, I really love this style. So Sassy in Cream Velvet. It does come in other colors, of course, as well, but I really love this color, especially paired with this style. I think it is so nice. And it's just really natural looking. I just really like the one. This is probably, this is, this is probably my favorite of the three new ones with Hallie as a close second, because I also just like, that's the, that's the beauty of wearing wigs, because you don't really have to choose one favorite because you can change it on a daily basis. So um, I don't have to really choose a favorite because I can just wear this one day and wear one of the other ones the next day. So just to give a recap of all the new styles coming out from the Orchid Collection, this is Sassy in Cream Velvet. I know I've said that like a million times. I just want to make sure the information is out there for anyone who is interested in them. It's so cute. Just kind of shake it up a little, just show how natural and effortless it looks. That looks really cute, actually. <laughs> it's almost like a Farrah fair, fair Fawcett type vibes. Just really kind of poof it out with your hands. Really, really cute and natural style. Look how nice that hair flows. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. And then backtracking a little bit, let's go to the previous wig that I just had on. This one here is Hallie in Shadowed Custard. This one is Lace Front. Let me take these bobby pins out just so you can see how it looks down. I also really just like wearing these light blonde colors. I think they're so cute. I like wearing every wig color on the whole spectrum, but this one is really pretty in terms of the color. So this one's really nice, a little bit shorter in the back. So it has a, a very slight A-line style, but not, not too intense. And I just really love these little curls in the front. I think they're Really, really cute and flattering. So yeah, this one is Hallie in Shadow Custard. Okay, and now going back to the first one I showed in this video, which is Brit in Cafe Macchiato. And this is the third new wig being released from the Orchid Collection. Super cute. I just love the Orchid collection because that is a, a line where there's really something for everyone. And it's just so amazing how you can completely transform just by switching wigs. Not even changing my outfit or my makeup. I just completely become a new person just switching the wig. <laughs> this one is just so cute. And these short wavy styles, short styles in general, I just find so effortless. You just throw them on and don't really think twice about them and they just look cute. So this one's kind of like a really cute, flirty, girl next door type vibe to it. And the other, I think, uh, Hallie is like really glam with those curls in the front. Um, on this release, these are the only three wigs being released uh, from the Orchid Collection, but uh, someone just asked, will there be any longer wigs? So there are already so many wigs in the Orchid Collection, so I definitely recommend checking out the rest of them. There are some other really nice longer styles in there as well, if that is what you prefer. And of course, we do have all of our other lines as well, like um, the Muse Collection and the main Renee of Paris line and the Amour Connection Collection and the, <laughs> the Rico line. I could go on forever just naming all of our different brands and lines, but... Definitely go on our website, reneeofparis.com. You can actually search by length. So if you are trying to find a new style and you're not sure what to look for, you can search on the website, reneeofparis.com, by length. So if you are interested in the longer wigs, you can input that and it'll show you all the different options you can choose from. So yeah, and there are some other really nice longer styles from the Orchid Collection as well. But these are the three new releases. So the longest one being released in this round is Sassy, which is a really nice medium length wig. And again, if I didn't, I'm sure I said it a million times, but in case I didn't, this one is Brit in Cafe Macchiato. So we have Brit. One final recap, Brit. <laughs> Speed run recap. Hallie. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite because I'm having trouble choosing. It really is whichever one I'm wearing at the moment. Hallie, really nice lace front as well. Super cute little curl. 
and then sassy. I need to do a video just seeing how many wigs I can put on in under a minute. <laughs> just speed run through all my different looks. Yeah, Hallie is really cute. I'm definitely a huge fan of Hallie. And then this one is sassy, which is just so cute, so flirty. Let's pull the back down a little bit, but this one is really nice. Very, really nice medium length on this one. And then of course the video I started, oh, the wig I started the video with was Posh, which is also from the Orchid Collection, which is just a really cute short style and in the color Aqua Paradise, which I love, but of course, of course, Posh is available in other colors as well. So comment below, which one of these three is your favorite? Are you guys thinking about getting any of these for yourselves? I'm in love with all these styles and I'm, I always love coming on here to show you guys the new styles and answer any of your questions. And it's just so fun to have an amazing community of fellow wig wearers and possibly other people with hair loss like myself to come on here and talk about these things because I know sometimes in our day-to-day -day lives we don't necessarily always know other people who either experience hair loss or wear wigs whether it's for fun or for other reasons so it's really nice to just come on here and be able to hang out with you guys and chat with you about the new wig styles and get excited so I always love coming on here. Uh, of course, you want to be sure to be following our Renee of Paris Instagram and our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the new releases. And as always, you can always find me on my personal Instagram, abbyandrew.yt. Um, and you can always DM me any questions on there as well if you have any questions about alopecia or about different wigs. And yeah, someone said, uh, sassy, love it. They're all cute. Hallie is cute. Sassy is gorgeous. These are so fun and I'm really glad you guys like them. So much fun hanging out with you guys. I really hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye guys.